So today in this video, we shall learn to find GCF or HCF of 20 and 45. And here we shall find out GCF or HCF by two methods. First one by factorization method and second one by division method. So let's find out GCF or HCF of 20 and 45 by prime factorization method. So while finding out GCF or HCF by prime factorization method, first of all we have to find out the prime factors of given numbers. So we have numbers are 24, 20 and 45. So let's find out the prime factors of 20 first. So it is 2 times 10 means 20 like as 2 times 5 means 10 and 5 times 1 means 5. So as you look here, we have taken out the prime factors of 20. In the same way, we shall find out the prime factors of 45. So it is 3 times 15 means 45, like as 3 times 5 means 15 and 5 times 1 means 5. So as you look here, we have taken out the prime factors of 30 and 45. So from these prime factors, we can write 20 is equal to from here it is 2 times 2 times 5. In the same way, we can find out the prime factors of 45. So it is from here we can write 3 times 3 times 5. So as you look here, we have taken out the prime factors of 20 and 45. So from these prime factors, now we have to find out the common factors. So as you look here, here is 2 and here is 3. So here is 2 and here is 3 and here is 5 and here is 5. So these both elements are common. So 5 is a common factor. So here is 2 and here is 3 which are non-common factor. So as you know, we are finding out here GCF of HCF. So GCF of HCF is the product of all common factors only. So here common factor is only 5. So 5 is the only common factor, therefore 5 becomes the GCF of HCF of 20 and 45. So in this way we can find out GCF by prime factorization method. So now our second method is by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 20 and 45 by division method. So while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, we have to divide the greater number which is 45 with the lesser number which is 20. So it is 20 times 2 means it is 40. So 45 minus 40 means it is 5. So here 5 comes as a remainder. So we have to divide the divisor 20 with 5. So 5 divides 20. So it is 5 times 4 means it is 20. So now at last we have here no remainder. So the divisor 5 is taking here no remainder. Therefore the 5 divisor becomes the GCF of HCF. So while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, first of all we have to find out the greater and lesser number. And we have to divide the greater number with the lesser number. So while dividing 20 with 45, so 20 times 2 means it is 40. And here 5 comes as remainder. So when 5 comes as remainder, then you have to divide again the divisor with remainder. And you have to keep dividing until there is no remainder at last. So while dividing the divisor 5, 20 with 5, we get here no remainder. So, 5 becomes the GCF of HCF. Therefore, we can write GCF of HCF is equal to 5. So, in this way, we can find out GCF of HCF by division method. So, this much for today. And if you have any question from math, then just comment your question in a comment below. And we shall provide a video solution of your question. So, thank you.